Hi, uh, my name is Gerta, I'm an instructional designer and today I'm going to tell you about my favorite dictation app. My friend has a four-year-old daughter and he told me recently about how she plays with Alexa. She talks to Alexa and asks her to play her favorite songs. Uh, she asks Alexa questions whenever she has. Uh, she's curious about things. So it's so normal for her, a true digital native, I think. Uh, and it made me think how mo slow most of us are when it comes to adopting technology to improve various aspects of our lives. So let's take, for example, um, voice and technology. And there is so much more we could do with it than just ask to play some music. And this is what I'm going to talk about today, uh, dictation apps specifically. So if you're a productivity enthusiast, you should definitely consider trying dictation app because Dictating is typically faster than typing, and you can multitask. You can write while walking or cooking or cycling. Imagine, instead of sitting in the office going for a walk to dictate some uh, or send some emails or draft some documents. This kind of tools are also valued for increasing accessibility to so visually impaired people or those who might have difficult, uh, difficulty to use their fingers or hands for typing, moving mouse or tapping a touch screen can easily create documents using their voice. The voice to speech uh, landscape has changed a lot over recent years and they are definitely more accessible easier to use and less expensive than when I first started using them. By now I made my choice and I have my favorite app. I will tell you later which one is it and why. But let me start first with telling you what I expect from this voice to speech apps. I'm sure that you will be looking for similar things. So for me, the tool turning spoken words into writing should first of all do it accurately and secondly, quickly. And I put these two things together intentionally. Because I am not a native English speaker, it was a quiet journey for me to find the right app to recognize my accent and pronunciation. So you can have the same problem even if you're a native, but you might have a distinct local accent. The other thing was that I wanted to be able to speak continually, not stopping every few sentences. And most tools that I tried in the early days required that uh, stopping so that app could process uh, the text. Um, but now there are few of them that process um, speech really quickly, quickly enough to do it in real time. Both of these capabilities definitely help, especially if you want to use voice to speech um, in the live meetings. Another important thing was the suitability of the tool for my needs. So I used to be an iPhone user and I used Apple dictation on my phone, iPhone, but I had a Windows computer and then I moved to Android phone and I started using Mac laptop. So I wanted to be able to move between all those different devices and platforms and use the same tool without any hassle. And you might have similar issues. So consider whether you need a standalone software uh, or program, or perhaps there are some features within the apps that you already use that uh, can be exploited. For example, if you use Google Docs uh, a lot, Google voice typing might be the best choice for you. So one final thing I wanted to mention was the ability to access my voice memos and text notes at any time. It is really convenient feature to be able to revisit your notes and recordings. So below I have a list of all dictation apps and voice to speech tools that I tried and a few that I didn't try, but they seem to be really worth to look at. I am not going to discuss them. You have to check them out and make your own decision. I will only tell you about the one that I use and I explain why. So my absolute number one voice to speech app at the moment is otter.ai. Uh, otter.ai is available online as a web-based app and is also available on iOS and Android. There are a few things about otter that I like. So first of all, you can use it on mobile devices and online. It is a web-based online tool which has also an iOS and Android app. And when you register and create your account, you can use the same login across, across all these platforms. You can process speech in real time. 
It's pretty accurate and does your punctuation and capitalization for you. Okay, so this is me recording just for a test. I'm going to say another sentence now. Well, quite well, right? When I used it in live meetings, it even recorded conversation recognizing various speakers' voices and adding timestamps. It's a bit like a dialogue. You can upload audio and video files to be transcribed. You can add custom vocabulary to teach the app uh, jargon and abbreviations, and that can boost the accuracy. It saves your notes and you can access both your voice recordings and text uh, at any time and you can edit and save the text. You can export your notes in several different formats. It can be integrated with other apps like Dropbox, Google Calendar or Zoom. It's free and the free version, I think it's quite generous. It gives you 600 uh, minutes of speech to text per month with a few export options. And there are obviously paid upgrades available that, you will, um, that will give you more time, more custom vocabulary, more entries and more export options. Um, Otter is great. I told you about all the pros and what about cons? Are there any? Um, one of the biggest shortcomings, especially if you speak and work in languages other than English, is that at the moment it is the only language that Otter supports. Okay, so that's all about Otter, uh, I have to say. As promised, below is a full list of apps and tools you can find useful if you consider voice recognition or text-to-speech. Let me know if there are any other apps um, or software there that you would like to recommend. I'm really curious about that. Post a comment or write me an email. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe if you are interested in um, design, learning and productivity tips and tricks.